It's easy to find a shirt or a hat for your favorite team. It's a lot harder to find game-worn apparel. It's called the player's trunk. It's already received national attention with people like ESPN's Jay Billis talking about business on Twitter. It started at the beginning of this quarantine and we came up with the name uh, and we just got rolling. Pretty big names have already inquired on how to sell their items on the website. Wayne Wade, Darren Ravel, and Chris Brickley, those are guys that I know I grew up idolizing. For them to shout out a company that I'm a part of was something really special for me. What's up guys? My name's Austin, I'm 20 years old. I'm Hunter, I'm 22 years old. And we are two of the co-founders of the Players Trunk, and this is our hustle. So the Players Trunk is a platform that we established to give former college athletes the opportunity to sell their team issued and player owned gear to fans worldwide. The idea initially started about a year ago when we kept seeing former college athletes try to sell their gear on websites such as Instagram and Twitter. Immediately we thought that there had to be a better and more efficient way that these athletes could sell their gear instead of having to go through hundreds of DMs. And that's when we initially brought the idea to two of our co-founders as well. Xavier Simpson and Charles Matthews, who are former Michigan basketball players. And after they each stopped playing, they wanted to sell their gear. First of all, a lot of people that were DMing them weren't serious buyers. They just wanted to have some sort of interaction. And second of all, we weren't reaching the audience that we uh, could have reached. And in return, you'll get better pricing, you'll get more serious buyers. And once Charles sold his gear, I'm like, all right, this needs to happen. That's when we started and created the website and, and the whole mission of the company. Three of our co-founders are managers at Michigan. So we grew up around basketball. It's sort of been our passion throughout our lives. When we're walking around campus, people are constantly coming up to us. Hey, where'd you get that backpack? And they always want it. You can't find any of the items that we're selling in a campus bookstore, for example, or any of these player exclusive gear because they're only given to the players and the coaching staff. So we sell anything from game-worn items, whether it's jerseys, shoes, practice gear. Memorabilia and, you know, higher-end collector items. Charles Matthews has a Final Four chair up that's literally one of a kind, can't find it anywhere else. In terms of bestsellers, team-issued sneakers, especially basketball sneakers, even just everyday sneakers have been really popular. So right now we're in our warehouse, aka our garage. This is the majority of our inventory here. Can give you a quick walkthrough, but we have it organized and categorized by individual player and then by school. School. So Kansas, Notre Dame, Baylor, we got Rutgers, Arizona was a big one from Chase Jeter. Even as a Syracuse guy, probably my favorite item that we have, super exclusive item. Alabama is coming soon, but we expect a big drop and big hype for that one. Just game worn shoes as well. So these are from Khalil Iverson. He played at Wisconsin for four years was a key part in their success in the Big Ten. So this has been an item that fans love to see is the game-worn um, products that their favorite players are wearing. We also have these signed foam boards by Elijah Hughes, who was the leading scorer in the ACC this past season. A unique piece that you can hang on your wall, you can put it in your home office, and you can't find that anywhere else. The practice jerseys right now, those are at least my favorite. You can only get them if you're on the team. So fans really like that. You can either you know, wear it to a tailgate, wear it to your pickup game, or just keep it for a collectible. From a fan point of view, I think that's the coolest item and it's definitely been super popular, especially for the prices that we offer them at. Right now we have basketball, football, and baseball, but we are constantly looking to expand into other sports. It's just sort of been where our background has been in pretty much basketball, which is why we do have the majority of athletes being former uh, collegiate basketball players. This is where I spend the bulk of my time, day in and day out. This is our fulfillment and shipping center. Um, usually it could take me four or five hours to fulfill the orders that we get. Pretty much the way it works is the athlete will send us the gear. We photograph it, we list it, handle all customer questions. The main thing is that we take the headache out of it. At the end of the day, they want to work on their craft, their sport. So that's where we come in and sort of take the hassle out of it for them. Right now, a typical day is reaching out to the other athletes, continuing conversations to get more gear. And I get half the packages coming to my place in Ann Arbor, and I package all the items from the night before living room the couch is filled up the tables and, and uh, chairs are all filled up it's a lot of gear here but we do it the right way and no matter how big a hassle it is we're gonna get it out I, I think the biggest challenge for me has just been like the the graphics so I'm a sport management student and here I am learning on the fly watching YouTube tutorials how to do Photoshop and everything else so I'm sort of learning on the fly as well 
So right now what I'm working on is just uploading a sneak peek of one of the upcoming trunk drops that we have on our Twitter, our Facebook, our Instagram. The more that we can do in terms of promotion to build the hype around a drop, especially with the fans that these schools have their favorite players dropping a trunk and they can own some of their player exclusive, you know, team gear, limited edition. Happy to, you know, make them aware of that. Hey guys, it's Aaron Tone here. I've decided to partner with Players Trunk and they'll be dropping my gear from Michigan State exclusively on Tuesday. Jerseys, shirts, shorts, the whole nine shoes. I make sure you go follow Players Trunk so you can see when everything is dropping and, and get that going. It's been awesome. They worked, they earned this gear. Their response has been great. I mean, they love waking up to Venmo, Cash App. Their stuff has been selling super quick. They're super grateful for it. We had these made up early on. These are some of the social media referrals from various influencers, athletes. Uh, this one was Jay Billis, Chris Brickley, famous NBA celebrity trainer. Uh, the Dwayne Wade one was a huge one for us. Having these you know, serve as a little bit of motivation so people can enjoy the gear that they wanna have. Marketing the business so far, a lot of it does come from the athletes themselves. A lot of them have even said, I'm a year or two out of school already and I've sat on you know, my gear and my parents' closet and my closet waiting for a platform like this to come around, the exposure that they rightfully deserve and they're able to monetize off their name. I actually found out about Players Trunk um, through my agency. I think it's a no-brainer and I think Players Trunk, what they do is an excellent idea, you know, allowing players to profit off of their name and likeness, I think is something that should have been established from the jump. So some of the items that were included in my trunk, you know, had a lot to do with stuff that I had extras of, fans that have purchased, you know, items. They've shown their extreme gratitude. I think it's really cool, you know, just to have that connection with fans that really do. So I think it's just a, a home run for both sides and um, I'm happy to be a part of it, like I mentioned before. Yeah, I think the biggest advice that I would give is just go for it. There's not gonna be a perfect time we had the idea over a year ago and we were always toying with it, playing around with it. The COVID pandemic hit and what are we gonna do to stay proactive and better ourselves? And all three of us said, hey, we're gonna launch this and you know, take it from there. But in terms of what's next for the players trunk in the short term, it's starting to expand and branch out into women's sports. We're launching already next week with volleyball players, women basketball players, a few softball players, and we'll continue to take it from there. And they've come up with an unbelievable idea. They're the consummate professionals, and you know, they, they ensure that the athlete is able to profit in the way that they should. I'm very proud to be a part of it, and you know, I think the sky's the limit for them because they've done it the right way. For me, my hustle really just means, you know, the everyday grind. It's those unseen hours, those late nights, but we're out here doing what needs to be done to get the work done and make sure we're delivering on our promise to customers. My hustle to me is just all about the sacrifices you're making on the day to day, furthering myself and also continuing to grow the business. The grind has been real and, you know, I want this thing to be the best that it can be and grow in, in so many ways. And the only way to do that is hard work. All three of us know that, and that's what we continue to plan on doing. We're going to be just fine. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our episode. And make sure to check us out at The Players Trunk on Instagram and also visit our website, theplayerstrunk.com. Make sure to subscribe to Whistle.